Reaper Man here, and I had such a good run at my uh, last video of Super Contra that I've decided to come back for kind of a kind of a get good session because it it seems like for every one of my sessions I was uh, knocking out about half of the stupid deaths as in the previous one, so I thought I'd go through uh, I don't know maybe two or three runs through the game here while I kind of talk about what's going on. This is just a spectacular game, by the way, and this is a great night to do this. So we actually have Hurricane Ida coming down on us, and uh, I may get called in to work for this. I don't know. Um, they've already evacuated, uh, voluntary evacuated everybody else at work, but I'm kind of on the remain behind element, so I'm hanging out on the phone. Uh, the wife's also not evacuating because she might get called into her work. So uh, we're a uh, uh, kind of a double government family, if you will, your tax dollars at work. So every time you see some of the, uh, you know, kind of expensive toys around, just remember uh, you're the one paying for them. So by the way, I've turned off some of the settings that were on the last video. I've switched back to what I think is the default palette for the NT Mini. It doesn't really have its own palette. It's got uh, one of the emulator palettes is on the top of the list. So I think that's that's its default. Boom. That noise back there was my computer going to sleep. Uh, I'm kind of on it just in case they, they call me in to work. Boom, boom, boom. I'm also charging up every battery in the house back there, so uh, that's going on. Boom. So again, I got rid of that weird palette that does the purples funny, and instead I've got uh, the default palette. And I've also turned off the kind of cropping at the top and bottom of the screen, so you will see some garbage up there. And this this happened on original hardware. We just uh, cropped it off the top generally. Now this this screen, if you take it slow, you only get one of the two little power up blisters at once. So if you go the rest of the way, you get the second one and the second one is the first spread in the game here so uh, it's an important little one to remember boom these guns are kind of neat but I don't think they appear anywhere else in this game just the first level there's a lot of guns that just kind of only appear at the first level boom first boss yeah, I got that weird palette in there because I was so obsessed over the first boss color. Well, looks like we got to wait a bit. I botched this one. That's okay, there's no time limit on Super Contra. <laughs> So yeah, while I owned Super C as a kid, I never owned the original Contra, but I did play it an awful lot at a youth center, and I played it with this guy I knew back in the day called uh, Mario, of all things. And uh, Mario is actually the guy I played uh, my first Mario Game & Watch on, and that was the, uh, the Mario Brothers one. That's the one where they have the, I guess they're cakes or something on the conveyor belts. That was tremendously fun, so I was actually playing Mario with Mario. I wonder what he's up to. I haven't talked to him since high school, and I was kind of a jerk in high school and kind of just started ignoring everybody. <laughs> I went through a couple of generations of friend purges. And Mario, for what it's worth, for a while there, probably wasn't going to be the best of all influences on me. Boom. And that youth center I went to definitely wasn't the best of all influences on me. But it was a nice little place for the time. So like I said, Hurricane Ida is coming up, and uh, that's probably going to hit, I imagine, early tomorrow we start feeling the serious winds from it. Boom, 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 boom. Just go to the back, drill bullets into that guy. 
And I'm on the remain behind element, so that's why I'm uh, kind of staying next to the phone. I'm really surprised they haven't called me in, but maybe it's because the evacuation is uh, voluntary. It's actually one of the few times I turn my cell phone on, in fact. I'm, I'm an old fart, and I really don't like cell phones, despite me liking just about every other piece of technology in existence. And it's really weird, because I don't mind... Uh, whoop. I don't actually mind Android. I, I like the Android game systems just fine. Boom. But for some reason I don't like cell phones. I think what I don't like is being able to uh, have people get in touch with me whenever they feel like it. And also I had, had a phone launch in the Navy that made me just a little bit weird about cell phones. For a while, when the alarm would go off, I'd flail around looking for the cell phone to try and answer it, not realizing it wasn't the, uh, the cell phone going off. So I think that's what kind of permanently made me weird about the cell phone situation. Because I was really into PDAs, like, uh, not public displays of affection, but like, uh, like pocket PCs and that kind of thing, but anything that connected to the cell network I was not about that because people would pick up their phone and expect to be able to get a hold of me. Boom. <laughs> but in case they do call me in today, I do have my little go bag and all that stuff ready. Boom, boom, boom. Here comes the crab. The giant enemy crab. It's a reference to a meme that's probably older than anybody should remember. It's PlayStation 3 launch meme, I guess, where they were bragging on the realistic battles on this uh, this game, and then the, the giant enemy crab showed up. Jeez, this thing is messing with my rhythm. loves to mess with me. It also takes way more hits to defeat than it has any real right to. <laughs> uh. So my main hurricane preparation up at work, ooh, invincibility, is that I picked up a whole flat of rippets. Now I got hooked on rippets back in the war, which makes me sound like I'm about a hundred, but what doesn't? <laughs> and it turns out that Friday was my last day to pick them up before the rippets at work went up tremendously in price. Well, 25% in price. So they're going from a dollar to a dollar fifty. So the old deal on rippets used to be whenever you um, bought a rippet for a dollar, uh, Rippet folks would send a small size Rippet, a little half size, uh, to some poor sap out in the desert or something. Oh, well, that's terrible. And I only ever got the free Rippets once when there just happened to be some Rippets sitting around. But because of the deal and everybody kind of liking Rippets, they were always plentiful at the shops and whatnot. So I kind of got hooked on rippets. I am not doing well on this playthrough. By, by playthrough I mean uh, go with this game because I am not going to finish the game here. I think I can pretty, pretty much just stand here until the end now. This is not a boss I usually die on, so I should probably pay a little bit more attention. Uh, one thing I did plan on bringing in, if they called me into work, would be this uh, mini four-wheel drive kit. I just love these. I built this kit like three times already, and it's nice because it comes, comes with tools inside of it already. Admittedly, I will be bringing a few extra tools to complete it with. But yeah, I really like those mini four-wheel drive. Whoop. Even though their target audience, I think, is 11-year-old uh, Asian boys. 
is their target market for those. I, I still like them because they don't take forever to put together. And when I have idle hands, I can just sit down and, and do a little bit of a project. I will be interested to see in the next level what color the boulders are on this uh, kind of regular, more regular palette here. I mean, assuming I make it that far, but let's face it, I'm going to make it that far. So the Konami code does work on this game, speaking of making it farther. <laughs> <laughs> but instead of giving you uh, 30 lives per credit like it does on regular Contra, it gives you 10 lives per credit, so 30 total. Boom. Ah. Duck. <laughs> that was actually pretty lucky that I didn't screw that up far worse. And just after I picked up the machine gun. I'm not doing so well on this playthrough. I don't know what the other gun coming up is. I know there's a laser coming up and I definitely don't want that. Again, if you like the laser, please, please tell me why the laser is good. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 and boom. Jeez. It's a little harder than I would like with the regular gun. <laughs> but in addition to that little kit, if I get called in, I will be bringing in my, uh, probably my Mr. FPGA just to give me something to play video games on that's relatively compact. Ah, uh, I guess laser. Oh, no laser. So with the regular gun, when there gets to be four of those little dots, this is gonna get tremendously harder. And I think the next few are four dots. Yep. Oh, turns out you can jump three of them. That's shockingly helpful. Nah, it's to be expected. Okay, so it looks like my first go at this is going to completely suck. I have to weaken the center of this thing. One. I'm going to die. Yeah. You have to build yourself the little house in the center here before whoop, it sweeps back to your side of the screen. And now that I got my little house, I pretty much won. And then you just kind of keep widening your house out and try not to do exactly what I just did. Yay! <laughs> hmm. So another thing going around here is uh, this here chair has gotten old. It's kind of starting to break. And it's become one of those chairs that your great aunt warned you about. You know, the uh, this chair isn't safe deer sit in this one instead chairs. Ugh. The diagonals. So that's something that gets me in this game is when you press straight down, you actually um, go prone. But when you hit a diagonal, you stand back up again which is terrible because you really don't mean to do that. 
Anyway, getting back to the chair, this chair has become dangerous, so I've ordered another one. And it was due to arrive Monday, but with the hurricane, I don't think that is going to happen. It's kind of already been rescheduled to Wednesday, but I think they're still kind of playing that by ear. Either way, I'm going to be assembling this thing in the dark because the power is going to go out for probably close to a week starting tomorrow. So I really have to get my video gaming in while I can here. I normally don't record my play sessions, but uh, with this one I figured it was probably okay. I don't bother picking those up really because one of them's the flame shot uh, or whatever that's metal slug term but whatever the flamethrower I guess and let's trigger one if I trigger them both at the same time I tend to get overloaded and occasionally miss my spread gun which is my least favorite thing in the world to have happen So because I've got a bit of every old man hobby and every child hobby in the world, I'm also a, like a ham radio operator and usually hurricane time is a great time for ham radio operators and there's tons of people to listen to and talk to. This time, there does not seem to be any. Like it's really quiet on the radio to the point where I could probably keep it on right now. Let's grab some. Grab some rip it here. Hmm. I have no idea why that is. I don't think it's a problem with my gear because I'm still hearing stuff on it, like stuff is breaking squelch and I'm hearing the automated announcements, but there's just there's just no people, which is weird. Especially since one, it's a Saturday, and Saturdays are another good time to get people on the radio but the hurricane is especially good. Uh, the actual hurricane net doesn't get stood up until tomorrow at 7. That's according to the repeating message on uh, the hurricane net. Or the, the repeater. My antenna fell down and I had to do some repairs on that setup today. Uh, it's an indoor antenna so it's not as dramatic as it sounds actually right behind the workbench that's behind me here. I have no idea why that uh, blow up everything on the screen button is right there. There must be more enemies there in two-player mode maybe. Boom. And the easiest boss ever. Yay! So I'm really looking forward to the new chair. It's a it's a bit smaller chair, but uh, I'm also getting a bit smaller. And uh, actually, just uh, about a week ago, I made my hundred pound weight loss mark. Actually, so I used to be three thirty five is about my high. It was probably a little higher than that because you never weigh yourself at your actual high. Ugh. I botched that miserably. You never weigh yourself at your actual high, but uh, the highest I weighed myself was 335. And for the last week, I think five days out of the last seven, I have been under 335. One of them I was actually 331, but that was after my walk and walks in Louisiana summer uh, that that is actually a very hot and sweaty thing so it's not too surprising that I lost I was down too much weight boom that uh, that mortar platform that never seems to show up again is actually really annoying if you don't have the spread gun 
If you do have the spread gun, you can pretty much take it out before uh, it gets a second shot off and also before its first shot hits the ground, so you're pretty much safe from it. This is actually kind of a neat and diverse stage, but it's also kind of an annoying one, and it feels long. Because it's got all of this kind of samey foresty stuff, then it's got this obnoxious crab that takes a million and a half hits, then it's got the whole floor is sinking level, which Admittedly, I draw that out way too long. I'm supposed to have all of that stuff memorized, and I just don't. I think I just wait for him to start walking and then decide which direction I'm going to jump off. Yeah, he went down a lot faster that way. And here's probably my least favorite part. I don't know if I've seen any other instances of that invincibility, what's it? Spread gun. I don't know why I keep picking those up, but I do. Uh, I think that one drops out, yeah. Come on. I think that's the last one. Yep, yeah, that's the last one. Now let's see if I can manage to not die a bunch of times on this boss that almost never kills me. Yay! That's more like how that boss is supposed to go. <laughs> it seems like every time I play this game, every time I, I go through another iteration, about half of my stupid deaths from the iteration before just vanish. Which is why I wanted to give this one another chance, because I'm honestly not too far off of uh, ten-year-old Reaper Man's pace on this game. Like, I can tell 10-year-old Reaper Man would still kick my ass. But not by all that much, and I think for the first five levels I could probably keep up with my old self. And I really never did play this game much past age 11. Again, the reason for that is a uh, house fire kind of melted all my Nintendo games, and I never bought a replacement of this one until much later, actually. I usually take this one out first, but whatever. Oh, I'm just going to go up this side to start with. <laughs> it's probably a terrible mistake that I even start out on the other side for the last few plays. Oh, I thought I hit him once. Alright. One. All right, now I'm entering the uh, first elevator with the spread gun, which is the ideal, I should say. This might be the first time, knock on wood, that I get to the boss with the spread gun uh, as an adult. And I do recall the spread gun making this boss much, much easier. I think in my last, uh, in the playthrough on the other video, I think I made it there with the uh, machine gun, which is not a terrible place to be in. I really like the machine gun in this game. Ooh. Oh. Oh yeah, the spread gun's much, much better for hitting those sliding. Oh. 
Ugh. No spread gun for me. Whoop. Laser. Seriously. Okay, that's better. I think I'd actually rather have the regular gun than the laser. Uh, but this means I am not avoiding the same number of stupid deaths on this round. <sighs> the dude's got me. Yes, I'd say I'm doing actually very poorly. Boom. Oh. Run to this side. Kind of forgot that I could do that. Run! Ah. Uh. Oh. Good. Got myself my little house. I'm pretty sure Konami puts little things like this into the game just for people who are bad at Contra, which is probably me. Probably me because I actually rely on these instead of having some cool flashy way to get rid of this boss. Now the next boss I do not have a flashy way to get through yet. And I really hope I have the spread gun when I get to him. If I get to him, because I am currently doing much worse than I was on my last uh, video of this game. <sighs> there we go. Well, that was close. We'll just... No, we can't go up that side. Okay, fine. Here I thought I was getting better. Well, whatever that is, I will take it. And I clearly grabbed the wrong one of those power-ups. And here come these weird boulders that were super purple. I guess they're actually super purple. <sighs> that was a gotcha death there. All right, let's go back. Doop, doop. <laughs> So I think this is actually going to be my first major hurricane here in Louisiana. So I came here just after um, Katrina, in fact. I had orders for the December after Katrina. They pushed them back to um, March because there's no place for me to live. So I guess it wasn't just after Katrina. But uh, this place still looked like a bit of a disaster area when I got here, as in... The only way you could see what businesses were open is they all had the same generic red text scrolling sign. Nobody kept their lights on at night. Like the whole place would still just go dark. Whoop. I think there were still neighborhoods getting power back actually. Oop. 
And that is what I get for not pulling those two power-ups down separately. I almost lost the spray gun. So yeah, I think this is actually my first major hurricane here. I've gone through a bunch of small ones. I think the worst I've actually been through was uh, just a Cat 1, but it sat over us for a long time. And if there's something good about Ida here, it's that it's moving so fast that maybe, maybe it'll just blast past us and wreck a bunch of stuff and just kind of get out of the way. That could be kind of wishful thinking, though. Because apparently it's going to hit us fairly hard. It's in uh, kind of a... Ideal position to hit New Orleans. We'll be coming up just off the uh, east side of the eye, which is the wet side. And no, I don't have any kind of a fancy generator or anything like that. And part of that is because if there's a major hurricane, generally I thought that I was going to be. Uh, <laughs> at work for it where I have air conditioning and uh, electricity and uh, because of that video games but that does not seem to be how it is going to go this time and they estimate for a cat one it is 90% uh, of people have power back within a week and a cat 2, it's 90% of people um, get their power back within 10 days. And a cat 3, it's 14 days is kind of the estimate there. But cat 4 and 5, all bets are off. So if you don't like not having air conditioning in the summer, well, hurricanes are not for you. I think that's actually why most people evacuate. Now luckily for me, I am on the river levee, which is the highest ground in the city, pretty much. Boom, 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 boom. Get rid of that. You wouldn't think it, but the city is, or the, the river is uh, much higher than sea level as it's coming down. So I'm not like way down in the bowl that flooded for Katrina. Because to some extent, we definitely have to worry about the levees getting stuff uh, overtopping or getting stuff uh, rammed into them and then coming in, coming in and that kind of thing. Which, as I understand it, was a big Katrina problem. So I still remember Katrina because I was on watch that night. So I had already had orders to New Orleans. And I was sitting there pretty much glued to the, uh, you know, the news channel there. Probably CNN at the time. And uh, I was watching the storm, and I remember calling the wife at about 7 a.m. because she was going off to work, letting her know that uh, New Orleans made it through just fine. Because there's a lot of people kind of worried in general about New Orleans. Especially her, since the two of us were about to come here. I'm just going to go ahead and wait for this L to disappear. I absolutely hate the laser. I will take the basic gun over the laser. Whew, had to duck there. And yes, you can duck, and uh, absolutely everything passes you by. You're completely immortal. I wonder if you still stand up on diagonals. No! In the water, you do not stand up on diagonals. That is a weird change in the rules. I wonder who decided to stand up on diagonals thing. I cannot remember if regular Contra did it, but then I, uh... It's 
been a long time since I played regular Contra. Okay. This thing is going to take forever now. <laughs> Yeah. It seems like I've been actually bumping into this thing enough. I can't believe it, but you can actually touch this boss. Because I've just been haphazardly ramming myself into him. I just never noticed you could touch him before. I'm sure he'd be really annoying if that wasn't the case. Ooh. Ooh. Spread gun. Boom, boom. That's going to make uh, this guy drops. And boss time. I kind of think I could just stand here. I think I've been working much too hard at this boss. I think jumping gets me in trouble. Hmm. So yeah, while it's likely I won't be called in if I do, I am bringing the mister in. There's enough keyboards around work, I don't have to bring my own keyboard, but I will have to bring a controller of some kind, and it will have to be wired. Um, cause wireless wouldn't be allowed in there. Either way, I'm kind of hoping to get some uh, handy cam footage of this uh, whole hurricane, because I've never been in anything near this powerful before. But I probably won't be able to upload it in any kind of reasonable amount of time, you know, since I will have lost power when it gets really bad. Boom. Boom. Duck. <laughs> but the Mister is actually a pretty good system to bring. It's got a wide variety of games I can play, and um, the NT Mini would be an equally good choice. See, the Mister's problem is that it doesn't do odd systems like Cougar Boy where the NT Mini back there does. But I don't know, untangling that NT Mini would be a bit of a hassle since it's in my permanently hooked up stuff section. And the Mister is new enough that it hasn't yet found itself in there. Get these two and get on the elevators. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Oh, the other one is a spread gun. Great. All I have to do is remember to be on this side of the screen the whole time. I'm sure the 10-year-old version of me knew that that was a, uh, a spread gun, but I have since forgotten. Just like I've forgotten a lot of the little gotcha deaths. 
I don't mean to jinx it here, but uh, this section is tremendously easier with a spread gun. Alright, we should be able to carve out ourselves a little home pretty quick. Oh yeah. Ooh, that was a lot faster than usual. nice thing about Mr. though is it does a lot of the computers and unfortunately this um, uh, NT Mini up there does not do really too many computers at all. If any. I guess it does some MSX stuff that's been ported to ColecoVision but that's not really uh, or is it Master System? They're, they're pretty much the same. But yeah, there's some MSX conversions that play on it, but I don't think there's uh, any actual computer systems. But the Mister even has a 486 core that is kind of okay. And I have been grabbing the wrong power-up blimp there, because the other one is just a blow-everything-on-the-screen-up blimp. <sighs> Alright. There is one waiting to kill me there. Oh, I forgot that they do that, too. Okay. Now here's another spot where they kind of pass through the floor and kill you. And jump, and look out for these guys. And jump, look out for the gun. Okay, this is going to be a heck of a tough battle with the standard gun. The spread gun would have... Ooh. Really much more worried about these red guys than the skull guys, and then it was one of the skull guys that got me. You know, this was supposed to be a get good gaming sex session, but uh, so far I'm not even as good as I was yesterday. But now we got the second overhead level. And if I could just remember all the little gotchas in this level, as I recall, this level actually isn't that hard. It's just going to be tremendously hard now. Well, I don't have to worry about that. You know what? I'm going to continue, I think. I don't usually like continuing, but uh, I kind of want a chance to kind of get a little bit better at this level. I think it's important that I get some kind of gun here. Flame... flame... not fl I keep wanting to say flame shot, but that's metal slug, so... We will do this with the flamethrower. Flamethrower, fine. Can I just... 
Those guys, do they even hurt me? Do they orbit a certain number of times and then actually kill me? Jeez. Okay, this is going to be where it gets tricky here. Spray gun. Since I'm dying anyway. Oh, I couldn't get turned around in time. I do remember... Okay. Try not to be as awful at this. Of course, on this last playthrough I did, I got through this on the first try blind. But I had more lives and... I don't think I had a better gun. I think I got through it with a stupid flame thing. through this mess over here. Okay, so as always with Contra, I guess the uh, strategy is get the spread gun and don't die. So this thing is like a sub-boss, goes down pretty easy, then... Oh no, what's that? The real boss! I say that, but it legitimately got me in my last video, like I, I didn't remember this thing was coming. So his projectiles explode, but you have to have enough room between you and this little serpent for that to happen. Boom, 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 boom. See, I do remember this being a pretty easy level. I guess, just like everything else, don't lose the spread gun. So this is the final level that I got to on my previous playthrough. I am not going to risk jumping that. I am just going to wait for it to vanish. Boom, 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 boom. Spread gun means that I can be a lot less cautious than I would be with the regular gun. Because these platforms are relatively safe as long as you take them slowly with the regular gun. I mean, there's a never-ending stream of dudes coming from behind you, but, you know, whatever, that's Contra. Oh, don't want that. That's a laser. I do remember that that's a laser. Not that this is much faster. Holy cow. I am curious as to what those two power-ups were, but I didn't shoot them. because I've already got the good one, and it would really suck to lose the spread gun. Even though I think there's one right at the bottom of this. Yeah, I think that second one is a spread gun. was a big mistake. I 
I'm definitely not getting good. So far in my big getting good stream session, I have managed not to be as good as my primary video on this game, which I think I uploaded two days ago or three days ago, and yeah. I suppose now that I'm familiar with uh, Super Contra again, I should probably try it on the Mister with this same controller. This controller I'm using is an NES dog bone that badly needs a rebuild kit because it's all, all mushy. It doesn't need a rebuild kit so bad because the pads are worn out though. It needs it because it just doesn't feel like a new controller anymore. It doesn't have that snappy feedback. And I've noticed some of the rebuild kits for other controllers have like a mushy feel out of the out of the box. And now I get to fight the helicopter with this. I swear, so many of my deaths in this game are because I keep forgetting the downward diagonal stands me back up. Alright, now we'll just stand here and take out some of these guys until the uh, orb of damage comes back. I don't think it gets any more offensive capabilities after this. It just opens up the back and spits out more dudes. That's the weird thing about Contra bosses, they start out as hard as they're going to get and just kind of get easier. I guess that makes more sense than, than bosses that get uh, tougher as they go, as in they're not... Whoop. Missed the machine gun there, as in they're not putting out their full capability to the guy that uh, just torch the entire level. Oh good. I was worried I was going to miss yet another power-up. So with the spread gun, this, this level's actually pretty easy. The spread gun... I want to say it's... it almost spreads... it's almost a little bit more effective on the overhead levels. Laser. I almost took those bullets there. And then there's this weird thing. And then just walk between these two guns. Take these guys out if you want to. to the back of the boss. Boom. You know, this does look a little bit better with the, uh, uh, without the cropping that I had in the last video up at the top and bottom. Even though it is garbage, it is actually legitimate data as often as it's garbage. This level replies on going prone so much more than other levels do. Which is my Achilles heel in this game.
because my brain refuses to remember that I can't hold down and hit diagonal and stay ducked. Alright, here comes the mortar. Ah. Laser. Go away, laser. Nobody wants you, laser. Again, I'm probably just too bad at this game to know how to use the laser. There's probably some awesome thing you can do where you just stick the laser right up into the boss, you know, glowing weak spot, and it just disintegrates in a, a matter of half a second, or something like that. Ah, that's a lot of dudes. So I do have the sprite limitations turned on on this system. It's not running more sprites per scan line than usual, which is a feature that a lot of these recreations do support. It makes certain types of games, especially shmups, and probably this game, tremendously hard to play. Although this game really doesn't have the slowdown that a lot of the shmups seem to... Diagonals. I deserve that one. Boom. I'd been flirting with doing very poorly on that crab in terms of rhythm for some time. It's probably gone. Time for this boss. Pretty sure I can just stand here. Maybe a little more off center. Okay, now for the level that I think has the most gotchas of any other level in the game. I'm sure there's people that can just run through this like a champ, but no, not me. I just wait until it is over. Somehow, I don't think I have ever gotten this spread gun. Oh, well, no, last time I got the spread gun up to the boss, didn't I? Okay. Yes, that did make that boss much easier. Come on. 
come on, come on, come on. Oh, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two. And back up on these. And boom. Boom. If I recall, this side over here is the spread gun. Coming up here in a second. Leave that on the screen for a sec, just in case I do my usual stupid death. Grab some rip it here. Oh, I do like myself a rip it. Can I come up this way? No. Okay. I have done this wrong. Somehow I've managed to do that more wrong than I ever previously have. Seriously. Here I thought I was finally getting good. The stupid deaths in this game. Ugh, and that is it. I think I'll continue. Just to get some more practice on this level. Because apparently I have gotten much worse at this level. Really? do not mind the machine gun at all. It's obviously not as nice as the spread gun, but my thumb doesn't get as tired. Oh, you kneel instead of going prone on diagonals. That's Something that, oddly, I never noticed. Again, I am sure ten-year-old me knew all about that. Jump. Yeah, I thought you could get me, didn't you, Boulder? Jump and then turn back. And then 
jump, jump, turn back, jump and turn back, and then this one has another one of those guns. I'm still gonna botch this somehow, even though I've got the spread gun. The spread gun which can hit the stuff on the ground without kneeling. As long as I pay attention to it. Hmm. Yeah, we'll continue. Continue. Can I even stand up for that? Or is it just an automatic of it shooting while I was touching it? Yeah, we'll just grab this because it's convenient. How was I doing this so much better on my semi-blind playthrough? I think I was just paying more attention. I was probably taking it slower. I think there's a spread gun here. Oh. Huh, it's much easier to take those guys out from down here. Boom, 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 jump straight up. You know what, YouTube? I am not getting good at this game. In fact, if anything, I think I am regressing. Alright. Let's grab the R power up. So what the R power-up does is supposedly makes your bullets faster, which makes them depart the screen faster, which has the effect of also giving you more of them. But on the spread gun, it also just straight up gives you more of them. So back when I was a kid and I bought this game, I didn't actually know it was the sequel to Contra. I just looked at the back and it looked roughly like Contra, so I got it. It wasn't until I started playing it that I realized it actually was the sequel to Contra. I kind of wish they had not have, had not changed the name to Super C from Super Contra. Now for a while, the like later games in franchises got the Super name back in the 80s. This is before Super Nintendo. And then, whoop, ugh, it's going to take forever now. And then during the Super Nintendo era, everything that was just on Super Nintendo got the Super. So there's like Super... Zevius, I think, was one of them, and whoop. Boom, boom. 
really wish. Yes. As long as I take out those guns, I'm still okay. I mean, it's the level one boss. You're always kind of okay. Although they are trying their best to overwhelm me here. Honestly, my lack of getting good at this game, I may not even upload this thing. I don't know. I don't know who wants to listen to an old man ramble while he uh, gets progressively worse at a game that he's actually fairly good at. Can't miss this machine gun, now. Oh, good. Scroll it from there. Everything's fine as long as I don't grab the laser. And here's this weird thing. So there are four flavors of sugar-free rip it in this world. At least regularly. I think there's been a couple of specials before in the past. But I can never find a place that stocks all four. In fact, usually I only see two. And the two vary by location. So it's usually uh, at work they've had... Um, whoop. Power and Tribute, but now they have Power and F-Bomb for some reason, and uh, I guess the dollar stores had three. It's got Power and either Citrus X or Tribute. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I think I might be rushing a little too fast here. I'm getting awful close to getting hit by these bullets. Of course, if you do hurry a little bit, you don't have to worry about the guys high up in the trees very much. The guys with guns high up in the trees, that is. Boom. <sighs> All right. Mini boss music has started. Giant enemy crab.
that is a mean thing for them to do to give you the invincibility there and I can't think of too many if any other spots in this game where the, where you get the invincibility power up and it's all to get you to hurry through this and get like a stupid death that is just mean game So I am looking forward to my new chair, and yes, I did buy a new chair on Amazon. But I tried to buy it at the furniture store, they just said that they were back ordered for like six months and that I wasn't going to get my chair. And like I said, my current chair has gotten dangerous. Uh, part of the mechanism on the footrest is um, the metal's broken. And my new chair, um, they made the unfortunate mistake of uh, telling me the distributor of the chair, or the manufacturer of the chair, which is a big no-no in the furniture shop world. Though they'll, they'll take somebody's chair and put their own name on it, kind of thing. Oh, that's the Rosenberg. It's not the Rosenberg. And they mentioned the, um, whoop, the actual vendor of the chair, and it was. Uh, it was Lane Furniture, uh, and I know I've seen their stores somewhere, but I can't remember if it was in Louisiana here or if it was in California. But I bought a, a new recliner that doesn't look like a recliner. It looks like kind of a, a medium back old chair. But it is a recliner. I didn't get quite the color I wanted because that color was basically non-existent while well, it was out of stock on Amazon so I had to settle for um, black uh, and I wanted kind of a reddish brown walnut they called it even though I guess it was closer to a uh, closer to a mahogany basically the color of this chair is what I was after and I know the color doesn't come out very well on the webcam it's actually a fairly current webcam it just doesn't do well with color and it's probably lighting in this room and uh, the fact that this room actually has slightly yellow walls doesn't help with white balance at all and my lighting is all goofy colored Not the least of which is because I'm sitting in front of like a 102 inch television here, a front projection thing. So it's also a light source. <laughs> whoop. Whoop. Yeah, I got hooked on projectors way back. I got my first projector out of a thrift store of all places. And it was actually only 20 bucks out of a thrift store in Camarillo. That's back when you actually got good deals out of thrift stores. In that area, they, people are very wealthy. So the stuff there was always much nicer than it had any right to be. That first projector I got was kind of weak though. It uh, was a, a 640 by 480 projector. But instead of taking a specialized projector lamp that's like super bright, it actually took um, the little halogen bulbs out of dental lights or DJ lights. Used them and they were really cheap, but you only get like 150 hours out of them. And it actually had room inside of it for two, and but it would only do one at once. And the thought there was that when one failed, while the projector was still hot, you could manipulate this little thing and switch over to the other lamp and keep going. Ooh. 
little bit of a delay there, but maybe it was exploding off screen. And that was my absolute first projector. And for every projector after that, I've gone to this um, projector forum online and kind of told them my use case and my room dimensions, and they always seem to have exactly one answer fairly unanimous for the best projector of the time and I really like that. I think it's a member, uh, I think it's a portion of the AVS forum called uh, uh, Projector... Is it Projector Central or is that a store? I don't know. One of them's who tells me where to, or who tells me which projector to buy, the other is where I buy the projector, so... And they, they always give me brands that I wouldn't have considered otherwise. Like, uh, I'm currently on a BenQ pro Currently on a BenQ projector, a brand I really hadn't even thought to, uh, to look at. And before that, they had me on a Mitsubishi that did very well for me. Now, they're both DLP projectors, and DLP has its... I've suddenly forgotten that I'm playing a video game, haven't I? That's that's the only explanation for what what I've done there. But yeah, I never would have considered a, a Mitsubishi projector or a BenQ projector. I mean, I'd always heard that BenQ was a decent brand. I just figured that it was, uh, you know, not not the brand that you should be looking into, I guess. Yay, at least I got a life. That doesn't matter much anyway, because this means that I am going to have to take on that boss with my little pea shooter here. Really? <laughs> Little purple track suits. All right, and now's when I lose. Actually surprised I made it as long as I did. I'm gonna have to get some hits on this thing if I want to actually power through it. I'm just not gonna make this boss. So tempted just to give up right now because I'm clearly, clearly drunk or something. That is the only explanation for the uh, level of mistakes I'm making. Yes, I think I'm actually watching myself get worse at this game. I think it's a very good idea that I not turn the cropping on because I would not have seen that guy. Are the boulders really purple? You know, I had thought I had a bad palette on this game, but now I don't, and the boulders are still purple.
The color purple that they've chosen in their palette seems almost like it's a mistake. I think those things are invincible for some amount of time. Yeah, I think while they're coming out, I think they're actually invincible. <sighs> well, I finally took the boss out on, you know, without losing a life to the boss. So I guess that's something. Just have the spread gun and don't die, right? That's the best advice for any Contra game. Now I'm going to have to be kind of careful not to pick up anything that's not the spread gun here. Okay, F and M, good to know. Can I get... Alright, one more continue here. I think those things actually hurt me, they just take soak up my bullets. Okay, now for the bad spot. Oh, laser. Fine, I'll try this with a laser. You know what? Before I get any worse at this game I think I'm gonna have to just give it up so I'm not even sure if I'm gonna make this thing available after the initial play but uh, maybe I will just kind of see how it goes maybe people need something just going on in the background they need to hear hear an old guy fail just a little bit harder than normal yeah so until next time Reaper Man out <laughs>